Hey guys, Wills Knight here, and welcome back to another episode from the Hermitcraft server. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. I have a short list of things that I would like to get done in the very near future. Uh, I want to build, I want to start building up kind of the landscape of the industrial area. I want to kind of uh, put, start putting in like retaining walls and stuff like that. I feel like the industrial area would not be very natural. I don't think there'd be a lot of grass and a lot of trees and mountains and stuff like that. I feel like the industrial area would look very much like people had come here and just carved it out and laid down concrete and, uh, you know, paved paradise and put up a parking lot as the, uh, as the song goes. So I want to start doing some of that in the industrial district today. Um, I've got kind of a space carved out here. When I first build the, uh, the Wells Co, um, storehouse, I carved out a line here where I was going to put a retaining wall, and I just haven't gotten around to that yet, so that's something I want to do. I also really want to get a super smelter going. Uh, like, that little auto smelter over there is, you know, it's great, but it's slow. <laughs> it's only two furnaces at a time. I want to get something going that probably has, I'm thinking like 16 furnaces should be plenty. Um, maybe eight, but I'm thinking like 16. Like, if you're going to do one, you might as well do one that'll last you the whole season for any sort of smelting project you can possibly imagine. And I'd like to put that, I think, in the upstairs of this building, of the sugarcane farm? I don't know. Um, and then lastly, I also want to make a cactus farm. So, I have a lot of things that I have planned. I don't know how many of them we're going to get to in today's episode. I think we'll, you know, we're just going to kind of start working on things and uh, we'll get as much done as we can and... When we stop, that's when we stop. So, um, first of all, let's start with the retaining wall, because that's nice and simple, doesn't have to be anything super complicated. I'm thinking maybe what we want to do... Um, am I going to need a beacon for this? Doesn't look like it. Looks like this is basically all dirt, because I'm going to want to tear this back one more block, I think. And it looks like this is the only actual stone here. So, let's go like this. I'm thinking we take some polished... And a site. And actually, let's start over here in this corner instead. And I think we're going to go andesite, polished, unpolished, 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 polished. Like so. I think we'll kind of build it up like that. And that's going to, we'll have like these pillars uh, every maybe like seven blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait. Nope. Seven. <laughs> and then one, two, eh, maybe that's where I want to call that. Maybe that's all the farther up I want that one to go. Then we'll go one, two, three, boop. One, two, three. And boop. Okay. And then I think we'll bring this top bit over like so and just see how that looks. Um, yeah, maybe that might work. We'll see. And then I'm thinking behind it, I think we want to go a mixture of smooth stone and stone brick is what I'm leaning towards. So let's just kind of start. Uh, let me grab a little. Well, we, we'll do just the smooth stone to begin with. But I'm thinking, like, so if we start back here, as an example, and as I said, I am going to have to tear out basically this whole little part right here behind these pillars. But that shouldn't be too hard to do, because it looks like it's all dirt, so we can just let our super awesome shovel take care of that for us. So what I'm thinking is we'll go like this and just build up some stone behind it. Uh, there we go. Let's go to there. And we'll build it up over here as well. Boop, 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 boop. And then it's going to come over this way as well. Uh, but something like this, right? And then we want to mix in a little bit of actual stone brick as well, I think. Let's get up there and grab that. So something like this, right? Just to give it kind of a 
kind of a like man-made but not super structured look if that makes sense uh, almost giving it the feeling like at one point this was uh, a man-made structure right like at one point this wall was very very uh sturdy and it was made all out of stone brick but over time maybe it's gotten like worn down from um you know uh erosion or whatever maybe the wind and the elements have kind of worn it down over time. Maybe something like this could work. Uh, I think I want to make a little bit of a change right there. Just kind of tweak it a little bit. You know, something like this. And we don't want to have an exact pattern to the stone brick. We kind of want to mix it up and and make it look a little bit um, a little different. I'm also kind of looking at this and going, eh, I think we want to go with polished andesite, not... Uh, not unpolished. The polished, uh, the, the unpolished andesite just isn't doing it for me. But something like that, right? And then over here, this would go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we got to make some more of it. Bring it down. And so on and so forth. We'll bring that all the way over here, see how it looks. Uh, and then... From there, once we have the retaining wall kind of in place, then we can start looking at uh, laying out like roads and staircases and all that kind of stuff. The eventual goal here is to basically get rid of this grass and uh, and essentially pave like this whole area uh, in a way that looks very unnatural. We want it to look very man-made and very kind of industrial and um, and, you know, built up. So let me get to working on this retaining wall, guys. I'll be back with you in just a sec. All right, guys, I am back. I've got the retaining wall uh, started. I, I'm not going to finish it uh, because the thing is, Exuma's over here as well. He's been building in this area. He's been working on this uh, absolutely gorgeous turtle factory thing over here. <laughs> Uh, and it's looking really good, I gotta say. Um, but I don't want to go too crazy with this retaining wall and start putting them all around the industrial district until I've at least spoken with him and just made sure that uh, he doesn't have any plans for something like this as well. I don't want to step on his toes, I guess you would say. So I'm just going to kind of leave it as it is right now until I get a chance to talk to, to him. Um, but... You can kind of start to see sort of the general idea of how this would work, right? So imagine that instead of this grass, it's all stone slabs, right? Imagine everything is this this stone slab here. And then we still have plenty of elevation changes to keep it interesting and make sure it's not all flat. But they'd be done via retaining walls. And you'd have, like, all these little pathways and stuff like that. So maybe, like... Um, Maybe like right here, as an example, we, you'd say, okay, well, this would be a really good spot to put a, a staircase that leads up to this this next level. So do I really not have a crafting table with me? Of course I don't. I never do. Ah, self, what you doing? Anyway, uh, let's just make, actually, um, this one. Yeah, here we go. I was going to say, I should just have some, <laughs> some stone brick stairs. Uh, but like, imagine... For example, uh, we want to do a staircase right here. So we'd go uh, like so. Maybe we grab something like this, right? And maybe we do something like that. And then, well, actually, this would have to be... Yeah, so we would have to bring that down like so. But then you could just kind of build a little staircase like this. And then kind of bring it down like that. And then behind it, we'd probably throw uh, some smooth stone there. Just maybe we throw a, a torch down like right here or whatever. Just to kind of light that up a little bit. And then you put a little bit of this behind it. Um, and the the whole idea here is that we're creating kind of, uh, kind of walkways, right? We're creating paths that kind of lead up and show you where you gotta go and all that kind of stuff. This could be like a very wide road. And then in the middle of the road, this is big enough that it could be like a divided road. So maybe in the center, there'd be like a little 
patch with uh, some a couple of trees or, or something like that, so there'd still be a little bit of greenery and stuff. Uh, but the idea is that this whole thing would basically be a whole bunch of kind of interconnected, man-made platforms, rather than an extreme hills biome with all this grass and mountains and, and stuff like that. Like, I don't, I can't imagine an industrial district actually being built in a mountain range with all these hills and like, that doesn't feel industrial to me at all. Um, so instead, over the course of the season, we can kind of transform it into this giant sort of like, um, you know, industrial park with all these different interconnected platforms and different levels of elevation and like the, the, uh, just tons of pathways. And I think it could be super, super cool. And it wouldn't have to be super complicated either. Like this is a super simple retaining wall design, super simple pathway design, nothing fancy. Like this isn't rocket science. Anybody, any of the other hermits could do this. But, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, it would be as simple as them just saying, okay, I want to build a factory um, right here, right right where I'm standing right now. I want to build a factory right here. So then they kind of just modify the retaining wall in the pathway. They take this design and they kind of uh, make it match up with the area where they want to build their thing. And then they have a space, you know, or there's just so many different things you could do with this that would really kind of liven, really kind of give this area some character, I guess is, is what you would say. So I think it'll be really cool once it's all said and done. Um, and maybe, you know, I'm not, excuse me. I, I, you were not supposed to break thing. Anyway, uh, and I'm not, like, super, super married to this design either. Like, this might change. You know, that's another thing I kind of want to talk with Exuma around, uh, uh, about as well. It's, you know, it's always good to kind of bounce ideas off of each other. Sometimes you'll have an idea and maybe you have, like, a really good idea. Or you have, like, this really good kind of vision in your head of how things are going to look. Um, but maybe you can't get something figured out. Or maybe you run it by one of your friends and your friend's like... Yeah, that's cool, but you know what could actually make it even better is would be like if you do this, and so on and so forth. So uh, I want to talk with Exuma before I continue on with this retaining wall project, but I have some other things that I want to do in this episode as well. So let me get a few things together. I'll be back. All right, guys, I am back. I just got done setting up my beacon, and uh, a couple episodes ago we built the uh, U-Shear Sheep Shop. What many of you may not have known is that I originally intended to build that sheep farm under my house, essentially, down here. And I actually dug out <laughs> a pretty big area down here. Uh, and I did not uh, end up actually using it at all. <laughs> so I've got this giant open area underneath my house right now. Um, I want to do something with that. And I think what I want to do is I want to make a cactus farm. And I think, let's find the center right here. I think I want to make the collection point, like, right about there. So that's going to be our, our like, center point of the farm. Uh, this will be where it all flows to. So, uh, let's start kind of figuring this out a little bit. Uh, I want to, I don't need a ridiculously large cactus farm. It's just not needed. Uh, because realistically, how much, how much cactus are you going to use over the course of a season? <laughs> the answer is not very much. <laughs> you know, usually you get a, usually you'll use maybe a couple of stacks over the course of a season. Maybe more than, maybe quite a few, maybe like a, ch a, a chest full if you have, uh, you know, like uh, a big project that involves a lot of green something. But I generally find that you end up with way, way more cactus than you're ever actually going to use. So let's start kind of figuring out our cactus farm here. Um, I need a bucket, a chest a hopper, and then I think, well, I should probably grab some cactus. I think like 64 cactus, uh, a stack's worth of cactus should actually be enough. Like, I, I, I can't imagine that I'm gonna need more than 
a, a farm that produces more cactus than that. So, let's kind of swing down here. If we say this is going to be the farm, right? This is going to be the center of the farm. So, let's just say... Um, you know what else I need is I need some slabs. <laughs> just a, just a few. Um, I always forget something. It's okay though. No big deal. We need approximately 64 slabs. Uh, so let's just go there. Let's actually grab two stacks just in case. And I think if my understanding of the new uh, 1.13 water mechanics is correct, I think we can actually make a farm that's a little bit more compact than it used to be for cactus farms. Uh, so I'm looking forward to trying this out and seeing if I if it works the way that I will that I'm expecting it to, because I believe, and we'll just test this. Let's just grab some stone, right? Let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And we say this is our thing. Right? So I believe if you put slabs like this, uh, that's actually not a good spot. We probably want it spaced at this interval and honestly we want them one away from the wall but I believe if you do this and then put water here is it is that not gonna work I thought it would waterlog this do, do you have to put it Aw, oh, man. What if you used trapdoors instead? Out of curiosity. I don't, I, I genuinely don't know how, how this will work. My, what I want to do is I want to get it so you can put a block uh, on the same level of the water and it will be waterlogged uh, and the water will go around it instead of through it. So... Uh, let's just grab maybe some spruce trap doors here so we can try this out. Let's just make a, a couple. And we'll see if this works. Because basically I just need to be able to put the sand. Uh, uh, actually our entrance is over here. Here we go. So what if you go trap door like that? Will the water successfully flow underneath that? Nope. <laughs> uh, really? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so I guess. I'm really I thought this would be waterlogged. Like, automatically. I guess it doesn't uh, automatically waterlog itself anymore. What if we did it like this? And we put all the water in first? No? Okay. Well, I guess we're just going to have to do it the old-fashioned way. That's fine. Uh, so, let's go up like three, I believe. So if we go up to like... Here. That should give us enough space. And I set up my beacon again, so it won't be hard to mine this out. And we just need to clear out a little bit of an area. Let's just clear out like these. Th this, these like this like three wide little lane right here. Just so I can show you how this, uh, this cactus farm works. This is a... 100% efficient, loss, uh, essentially lossless cactus farm. Um, it's based very heavily on Exuma's uh, cactus myth-busting video that he did forever ago? I, I don't even know when he made that video at this point, but it was a while ago. It was a pretty long time. 
But anyway, what we will have is a slab up here. And, well, actually, what we'll probably do is dig this whole thing down an extra block, right? And then this channel will be dug down an extra block as well. So we'll probably dig this down like so, because I don't want to go up too high here. And then right up here, uh, we probably want to go here instead. We want to get four rows. Like that. And we want to spread them out. Um, one apart. So essentially we're going to end up with four rows just like this. Right? And uh, on each side... Uh, well, actually, four rows of four would be 16, so we need a total of 16 rows of four, which means we could go eight, eight rows of four on either side of this central channel, right? So that's pretty easy. And then up here, we go sand on top of the sand, we put cactus and up here. We go glass panes, just like that. So what'll happen is the cactus will break, it'll fly off, hit one of the glass panes, and fall down, and then this will all be a water stream along here that carries it all to a central chamber over there. And that's basically how this whole thing works. Uh, we can also fill all of this in. Cactus is not dependent on light level to grow. So we don't need to add any uh, glowstone or anything like that up here. And uh, essentially what I want to do is I want to have an overhead collection area. But that's it. I don't want to uh, I don't ever want to like come down here. So it doesn't matter. I I'm not going to spend any time actually designing the look of this farm because nobody is ever going to see it like ever. <laughs> so that's kind of my plan. I'm going to go ahead and finish getting uh, this whole bit done, and I'll be back with you in just a sec. All right, guys, I am back. I've got the cactus farm all built, essentially. Uh, I still need to make the item collection system and all the water and all that kind of stuff. So basically, uh, here's the cactus farm. As you can see, it's all in place. Also, by the way, this is a cactus farm that I have built before, and I did do a, uh, a tutorial on it as part of my 15-minute build series. Um, I don't know exactly when, but it was at some point. <laughs> so if you want to see a full tutorial for this cactus farm, uh, it's a relatively short video, um, and I'll put a link to it in the description. But basically, this farm is... Uh, the dimensions of it... Uh, people always ask me on that particular video, how big is it? And the answer is, it's as big as you want it to be. <laughs> it's just, this is tileable. So just make it as large as you want, um, this one holds 64 cactus, but, uh, I mean, the concepts, this is not rocket science here. Uh, this is just basic Minecraft mechanics. So, um, yeah, but I'll uh, go ahead and finish filling in all that water. There we go. Okay, so now we have our water in place. I'm going to throw up a torch right here and a torch over here, just so you guys can kind of see. I mean, I suppose... Uh, it's not gonna hurt anything if we put torches back here as well every so often. It literally does not matter because they won't catch the cactuses, but they won't interfere with the cactuses either. Let's just throw them there. There we go. There we go. That way you guys can see. Okay, so this is where our water elevator is gonna go. Um, so what we want to do is go here, right? And then we count one, two... Well, I mean, basically, we know how far it's going to go. It's going to go right here, okay? And then at this point, we drop it down. And we let it keep going. And eventually, it will hit right here. And then we drop it down again. Super, super, super easy. Just like that. Okay, good. So now, we want to lower this a little bit. Because we don't want any items to fly uh, in an incorrect 
direction. That is going to be very difficult to open like that. Uh, let's go here. I need to make myself a single crafting table. And a sign. There we go. And we're going to put a sign right here and right here. And uh, the sign does not actually need to say anything whatsoever. But then what we'll do is like this. I'm just going to put two ice. Okay. So what should happen is any items that fly in here from anywhere. Uh, let me just grab 17 stone. We'll just toss these all over the place. Right. Any of these items. They should ultimately hit the water stream and fly over here until they hit the ice, at which point they're going to get launched up into a new water stream. And maybe it would be better now that I'm looking at this. Maybe it would be better to do it this way instead. Uh, so let's throw down a dirt block. And then I cannot reach that. OK, tell you what. We'll just fill her up a little bit. Grab this water bucket. Still can't quite reach. Put that there. There we go. And then we'll pull her down until we hit here. Now we're in the water. So we'll make our water source blocks. And then we'll bring that down. Okay, good. And then this will float the items up. Now, I don't no, I think we should be fine to do the soul sand bubble elevator, and that should launch cactus up pretty quickly, right? So then we need to make a little bit of a collection system. I will make a better looking collection system at some point in the future, um, but for the time being... We're just going to do, I'm, I'm actually out of stone. Okay. Uh, <laughs> for the moment, we're just going to grab some more stone. There we go. Uh, just to be on the safe side, let's grab another little bit there. There we go. And we'll just plop it down. Right here, I'm going to put a chest. Uh, let's do a double chest like that. With a hopper here. And that'll go like this. Right? And then all we should have to do... Is go... Water bucket. Water bucket. And finally, water bucket. And that should launch over here. And then we just need to cap it off like so. So ultimately, this should work. And any items that get tossed anywhere down there in the cactus farm should end up in this chest. So let's go ahead and test this out. Let's just uh, swing over here. And let's just launch, uh, I don't know, maybe five spruce, five stone, and five iron ore. So we'll say spruce. I, I caught the spruce. I didn't mean to. Throw the spruce. Uh, over here, we'll throw the five iron ore. And over here, I'll throw the five stone. So all of this should now end up in the water elevator. All of it should be in the water elevator when we get back up there. Come on, get out, you can do it. There we go. Boop, boop, boop. We'll just close that up. And of course it's night. That's fine though, no big deal. All right, if we look in our chest, we do indeed have all of it. Awesome. So that's going to collect all the cactus for us. I'm going to light this up with some torch spam. 
Uh, but I am unfortunately out of time for this episode, guys, so I gotta call this one here. My friends, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.